Sun Wing President Mark Williams tells me there was a direct threat to the safety of the aircraft en route to Panama City this morning. One man was arrested earlier today after Williams said he became agitated and made a threat. And the plane was about 45 minutes into the flight. It was about it was over sort of the West Virginia area when it was turned around and brought back into Pearson Airport. 183 passengers, two pilots and four crew members were on board that plane. And the plane was met by security personnel and police. And all passengers were then taken by bus back to the terminal here where they've just gone through security to be rescreened. Their baggage has been rescreened and they'll depart again around 3 o'clock for Panama City. And the plane itself is also undergoing a thorough security inspection and sweep right now. Linda, do we know anything about the man and what he said? Well, I spoke to some passengers who were on that plane. One man was sitting uh, right beside him. And those passengers, as they're going through the security, visibly shaken, some were uh, even in tears. They describe it as a terrifying experience. Now, the man who was sitting close to uh, the man who, who allegedly made the threat, uh, the police who police arrested, uh, this man says he was ordering something from duty free when he started yelling and swearing. And he says he made something to the effect of a threat about a bomb. Now, that is just from witness accounts. We have not got that from police or from Sunwing. They Say that he did make a direct threat, however, to the security of the aircraft. And they described after that quite a commotion on the plane. One woman said she was crying. They landed the plane and police boarded. They say they were yelling when they got on the plane, hands up, heads down. People were, as you can imagine, just terrified, still shaken as they're whisked back through security here onto another flight to Panama City to finally, hopefully, start a well-deserved long-awaited vacation. No Carol. kidding. Linda, like, you know, it's, it's fascinating. We're looking at the video now. You can see the chaos. You can see people are very, very concerned. But, you know, and everybody knows the rules. You don't say the word bomb from the moment you enter the airport to the moment you step off the tarmac. Absolutely, yeah. And I, from what people I've spoken to uh, who are on that plane do believe that the person just became very agitated and, and just dropped the wrong word. Uh, most people I spoke with are very frightened by the whole event, the series of events of the police getting onto the plane and yelling and all of that, but don't believe that this man uh, actually uh, possessed what he have, we have heard uh, he claims to possess. As I understand it then, are you saying that they, when the police boarded the plane, they had a lot of frightened passengers there, a lot of chaos to deal with. How did they, take us through if you know from what you've heard, how they were able to deal with that. What did they ask the passengers to do. Well, I know that they said, put your, put your heads down, put your hands up. They do that, uh, obviously, so they could see yeah. people's hands, but also so they could, uh, it, it, they want to be able to identify quickly who it is uh, that they're looking for on the plane. Uh, now, once they were able to apprehend the man, from what I understand, all of those passengers were then, uh, once they had sort of uh, established uh, some security and safety around the plane, they were escorted uh, onto a bus and taken uh, by bus into the terminal here. And when I arrived at the airport, I saw a Sunwing uh, representative uh, and uh, some Peel police officers uh, escorting quite a, a large group of people uh, right through the terminal and straight through into their next security screening uh, to go through the whole process. Again. Well, I imagine they'll have to give the police statements about what they heard and saw at that time so the police can make a case against the person accused of, of uh, doing this. Yes, absolutely, and I mean it is a lot of uh, a lot of witness accounts, as, as you heard. Uh, some of those people uh, sitting you know, at the front of the plane had had one experience. People sitting at the back of the plane heard uh, heard something completely different, and the people sitting uh, directly uh, beside this uh, person who was arrested. I'm sure police will spend some time speaking with those people today, as they would have been within earshot of what the actual threat was. Right. I'm going to let you go, Linda, but but just before I do, for those joining us uh, right now on this story, uh, we had amateur video there. We're talking to Linda Ward of CBC News. Amateur your video you're watching from inside that Sunwing plane that was diverted from Panama back to Toronto under American fighter jet escort uh, this morning. Uh, Linda, before I let you go, what's the allegation of what the person who's now under arrest, what they had to say that forced this turn of events? Well, police and their uh, Sunwing representatives are saying that he made a direct threat to the security of the aircraft, and that's the official statement that we're getting right now, but certainly uh, the, the threats uh, do have to do, but we did hear from some witness accounts uh, of people on the plane saying that he did use the word bomb in some in some way uh, while he was on that plane. Now, those are, like I said, just some witness accounts, and we are waiting on police and uh, Sunwing representatives to uh, release some more details just about what the uh, detail of that specific threat were. All right. Linda Ward at Toronto's Pearson International Airport. Linda, thank you.